Have you ever seen a dancing stormtrooper? Probably yes, but the thing you don't know is that this stormtrooper was created based on an AI image that I prompted in Midjourney. How I did that and if this is actually the potential future of 3D animation, we will find out in this video. In Midjourney we will just use a basic prompt that you can take like this uh, which is basically just a stormtrooper t-pose front view arms spread apart white background you can replace the stormtrooper character with whatever you want it can be spider-man it can be i don't know it, ca it can be anything imagination so whatever you want to prompt also of course your own mid journey character you could then also use the minus minus c ref here the important words are here that you have t pose front view arms spread apart and white background the white background is in this uh, matter important that you then can extract it in 3d ai studio otherwise we need the arms spread apart and t pose that we can later rig and animate it in mixamo and uh, that we have the front view otherwise send it and then see what you get all right once it's done we can have a look at it and actually we already see i think this one looks quite promising maybe it's uh, still a bit too short arm wise can also change something here maybe we will go and say that we want no style raw in this case we can we need to put it here to standard then as well but uh, yeah, let's try it again. And what we can also do is put a minus minus R here and then prompt like six times maybe. And then it fails. It's not working. Why is it not working? Where's the manual? Ah, the limit is four. Sorry, guys. So not uh, when you use it, then let's not make it six, but let's make it four. And then it will prompt four times the same one. So we will have a bunch of stuff that we can choose then from and see what we get. All right, great. And now we have a lot of options. We can have a quick look. Yeah, maybe this one could work as well when we would extend the image or zoom out a little bit. This one is nice. I think this one is also very nice. We just need to extend it a bit. So I think I will go with this one for now for this tutorial. So uh, what we want to do is then just reframe it here because mid journey is awesome. We can just do that really simple. So we will just zoom out a bit that we see that we have the hands then here can submit again. Then it will resubmit and we get four versions of this guy here with extended arms. All right, great. And look at this, we got arms. Here they are a bit shifted, but I think for this one, it could also work that we using like this guy here maybe. I think that's fine for this tutorial. So we'll just take it, then I will go here to the download button, download it, and we have an image here, which is great. The next step is then that we go and transform this guy here to a 3D version, that we have it as a 3D character. And we don't need to do any 3D modeling ourselves. The only thing we can do is actually that we go to 3D AI Studio. And here uh, I have to mention uh, before you start, it's not free. They unfortunately don't have a free version. What you can do, what I hear so far in videos is that you can go to the Discord page and then like log into the Discord server if you have a Discord account and then ask for credits and they're happy to give it to you or ask them on Twitter slash X. And I think there are ways for you to try it for sure. I um, purchased here like a monthly subscription just one time, like 10 euros. It was worth it to me to show you guys what this tool can do so just that you're aware of it it's not for free so uh, just that you know that it's so only thing you need to do is you go to the website launch studio then go to image to 3d and what we can do then is that we choose here a file and here we actually want then to just use the file that we just downloaded which is in this case the stormtrooper that we have here and then it's really simple the only thing you need to do is that we go here to generate 3d model click on it then we have to wait a bit until it's processing but um yeah this is most of the things you have to do for 3d AI studio which is really nice that you don't have to put that much work into it actually and it's uh, fastens the process quite a lot Okay, great. And we are back and this is our 3D model that we have. And I mean, 
I think it's quite a nice result, I have to say. Of course, there are always problems a bit with the hands, but I think we get the main things. Here it's a bit screwed up, but you know, when we have it in motion and we see it in the camera itself, it is not that apparent anymore. Of course, this is not like high quarter quality production that you see in movies, but it has a lot of potential already and we can use that already for our short films. The only thing we need to do then is that we can here say refine, remesh or download, so we could either direct download it. What I want to do is here that we remesh it one more time, that we have a nice topology and it's really important that we export it as an FBX file. So we will choose it from GLB, we will go to FBX over here, just select it and then we can also increase the face size here and this is uh, the face size is uh, like how much detail it should have and I think the maximum is 15,000 and we can go here for example let's say for this test 10,000 faces and then just remesh okay and it's already done and we can see it in our dashboard so only thing you have to do is click on home then we see here our character looks great so we will just go to download and download the model the next step, what we will do then is go to Mixamo. If you don't know Mixamo already, it's also an amazing tool that you can use if you have an Adobe account, it's for free. Only thing you need to do then is here log in. All right, and once we are on the main page, only thing we need to do then is directly go here to upload character. Just click on it and then we see, okay, we need to either upload an F FBX file, OBJ or zip. And we have an FBX file, so we can just select here our file go to downloads, select it, open, and then it's processing our character. This could take a while, this is normal, don't, don't worry. And then we have it here already. It is important now that we have it in the front view. So you can uh, change it when you click on those symbols over here. So we will just rotate it and that our stormtrooper is looking at us. And then we go to next. And then you see how we have different uh, things to select here. So we have, for example, the wrists and it really works like in this example here, we will just choose where the wrist would be on the character itself. Otherwise we would choose here the chin, elbows, the knees, and yeah well the groin <laughs> so um basically like this and then uh this is all we need to do uh, we can leave it like this i think this is already enough we can then select next and then it's processing and giving an auto rig to our character which is great like to animate it then all right and now we see how it's rigged right now and this is a preview like how it would move we see we have a bit of issue here so i will go back one more time to fix this. Uh, so what we can do, you can go back anytime. Um, just go back here, rotate it again. We will choose the chin that it's a bit more either down or upwards. I need to test that. Let's say first that it's a bit more down maybe and the groin as well like here. Okay, great. And it worked actually be a bit better at least when I selected it more in the head region. It's still not perfect, but for our example, I think it's, uh, it's okay and it works. So that's the main thing. And now what we will do is when we are happy with it, then we will go to next and then we will go to next again to upload it. And then an important thing is that we don't go to characters here. We have to go over here to animations. And now we can actually animate our character. So this is pretty cool because it's very easy. The only thing you need to do is then actually select a pose here that we want to have. And then you see our character is moving. <laughs> so maybe choose the, uh, let's, let's choose this one. I think this is super funny. <laughs> then he is even more dancing than before. And I think this could work quite well. Of course, we have a little bit issues here, as you see with the head still, because the skinning of the body and the rig is there, not that accurate, but uh, I think it works for a fun little test. So let's choose this one. Then let's go to download. And then here we can say, okay, we want to have FBX, which is important. Here, please choose whip skin. So it's keeping the texture, hopefully. Otherwise we will also have a fix for this. Then we go to download. And then the last and final step is that we then choose one 3D software of our choice. So you can either choose like Maya or Cinema 4D if you have it. Otherwise, I think the best free option there's out there, it's Blender. So 
Um, I will put all those links for all the softwares and the workflow that we're using right now. I will put all of them in the video description down below so that you don't need to worry about it and that you can just install it from there, which is quite easy. All right, and then the last and final thing what we will do is we will then go into Blender. I will provide you with this scene. So you will have the lighting set up and also this plane here, just a simple plane, which is a bit bent, which gives like a nice lighting. And um, yeah, we have the character in here. I will just delete it because it's the old one. And we will then import our new character that we just exported from Mixamo. So we will go here to import and then FBX and we go and choose downloads and then just import our FBX file. And then when we scrub through here, we already see like how he's moving and dancing in the timeline. So that's great. <laughs> we can also go to our camera and see what he's doing. Just press zero on the numpad for that. And we see that here he's jumping out of the image and of course we want to change that. So only thing you need to do is press N in the viewport and then change it to camera to view. And then you can move the camera a bit outside maybe like this, just navigate it a bit more. And then we see, okay, he's kind of break dancing. Maybe we find a better angle here for him. I think this looks great. And then we see here we need maybe a bit more space from the plane itself. So. I will just expand it. You don't need to follow this. I will export it like this then, that it's a bit more extended for you. And then I think this works great. And let's check if he has a texture. So I'm curious about that. And yeah, this looks nice. <laughs> the texture is there, which is great for sure. Only thing I noticed is that it's here floating, but maybe I could put a little block here or something that it makes sense. But you could also just choose another animation if you want. And uh, yeah, this is basically it. Uh, of course, you can use it for any case you want. In case you are interested about learning more about Midjourney Alpha and how it works, I just published a recent video where you can check out all the functions Midjourney Alpha has and you have a kickstart in it and then can directly use it to your own needs. Otherwise, of course, make sure to follow the channel, subscribe to it, share it with your friends if you enjoyed the video. As always, when you have questions, just ask it down below and write it into the comments uh, in the comment section. Looking forward to hear from you and see you on the next one.